Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about why we shouldn't believe in Paul. Uh, the question really arises, uh, why should we believe in Paul? And is Paul really transmitting or is Paul really passing down reliable information uh, that he got from Jesus and the apostles or Jesus and, the, and Jesus' disciples? So is Paul really a trustworthy person that we should believe in and trust? to get reliable information about the disciples' beliefs in Jesus, in Jesus Christ. So, uh, we can, reading the letters of Paul, we can say that Paul was a liar and a manipulator, and that we can conclude that Paul is a liar, a, mani a manipulator, and he is not to be believed or trusted. How do we know? Now, why do I say that Paul is a liar and a manipulator and can't be trusted? Because we just, just read the letters of Paul. Uh, so I'm going to be focusing on two verses or two uh, two letters, uh, one Corinthians and two Corinthians, where Paul admits that he's basically a liar. He's lying about a lot of stuff. So we're going to first uh, pay attention to, or we're going to first draw attention to two Corinthians uh, chapter twelve, verse sixteen. Paul says, "Be that as it may, uh, I have not been a burden to you." Yet crafty fellow that I am, I caught you by trickery. So Paul says, crafty fellow that I am, I caught you by trickery. So Paul is admitting to tricking people and being a crafty fellow or a crafty liar and uh, catching people by deceit and trickery. He says, beat it as may I beat, be that as it may, I have not been a burden to you, yet crafty fellow I am. So notice what Paul admits. He says he's a crafty fellow or he's a crafty uh, person and he caught the person by deceit or by trickery. So Paul is admitting that he's a trickster and he's a crafty fellow. So he's not to be trusted or believed. Then, uh, uh, you know, I want to draw attention to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19 to 22. Paul says, uh, let me get to the point here. Paul says that he's, that in order to lure Jews, he says, to the Jews, I become like a Jew to win Jews. To those under the law, I became like one under the law, though I myself are not under the law, as to win those who are under the law. To those who are not having the law, I became like the one uh, not having the law, though I am not free from God's law, but under uh, Christ's law, uh, so as to win those not having the law. To the weak, I become weak to win the weak i have become all things to all people so that by all possible means i might save some so notice what paul is saying here he's saying he's luring people by pretending to be those people he's uh pretending to be a jew to win some jews he is um he is saying you know uh i'm under the law to win those who are under the law he says, to the weak, I become the weak uh, to win the weak. He says, I have become all things to all people so that possible means I might save some. So Paul is <laughs> Paul is lying. He's manipulating. He's pretending to be, you know, he's pretending to be a leader to lure people into his version of Christianity. So he's lying. Paul is admitting that he's lying. He's deceiving people. He's uh, tricking people. And he's... Uh, He's pretending, he's luring Jews and weak people and people un under the law by pretending to be them and using these, uh, using lies and deceit and manipulations to win people towards him. So Paul is so desperate to be a leader that he's lying and he's tricking people and he's deceiving people, according to 1 Corinthians and, uh, and 2 Corinthians chapter 12 or 16. So why should we believe in Paul and why should we trust Paul to get reliable information about Jesus and reliable information about the disciples and um, the apostles? So Paul is not always honest and he's not always trustworthy. <coughs> he's not honest. He's not trustworthy according. Oops. My bad. Uh, he's not always honest and he's not always trustworthy according to um, his own statement. So Paul is a liar and manipulator and he's not to be trusted when it comes to learning information about Jesus and the disciples or the apostles. So we shouldn't believe in Paul and we shouldn't trust Paul. But the problem is Paul's letters are the earliest New Testament documents. 
which possibly influenced the later New Testament documents, being the Gospels, Acts of the Apostles, Revelation, etc., etc. <clears throat> so, Paul's Gospel probably beat out the disciples' Gospel, and Paul's version of Jesus overthrew the disciples' version of Jesus, and that's the version of Christianity we got today, the one that came from Paul. The Christianity we got today came from Paul, not the disciples or the original followers of Jesus. So uh, I want Christians to really reflect on these two verses and ask yourself, why should we believe in Paul? And why should we think that we're getting reliable information about Jesus and the apostles when he himself is using lies, deceit, and trickery in order to win people towards his version of Christianity? So Paul admits that he's not trustworthy, he's not honest, and he's a liar and a deceiver, and we should stop really believing in him believing in him or believing in his version of Christianity. So the only other religion that teaches, that talks about Jesus or says you have to believe in Jesus is Islam. So, uh, you know, so you got two options here. Believe in Paul, who admits he's a liar, etc. Or believe in Islam's version of Jesus, which can be backed up using the New Testament. Um, because Jesus says he's a prophet. And... Mark chapter 6 verse 4 Jesus says Jesus Jesus identifies himself as a prophet in Mark chapter 6 verse 4 Jesus himself, uh so that's exactly what Islam teaches or the Quran teaches that Jesus is a prophet so we have Jesus identifying himself as a prophet and we have the Quran identifying Jesus as a prophet so uh what Islam says about Jesus can be found in the uh, lips of Jesus are in the uh, New Testament documents that we have today. So this is just something to think about. I, I really want Christians to really ask yourselves why you're believing in Paul when he himself is admitting to lies, deceit, and trickery in order to win people to his version of Christianity. So don't be a sucker and don't fall for Paul's uh, misleading misleading uh, lies, uh, etc., etc. So don't fall for Paul's trickery and his lies. So stop believing in Paul. He's not trustworthy, according to his own statements. Stay tuned. More videos coming up ahead.